A floater quartz crystal from the Arton Villa mine, Messina, South Africa. Of course, no longer being mined. First, I'll first take you around the edges. Have a look at the various angles. The grey you see in the quartz would be an inclusion of hematite. It must likely be a little bit outside as well. The blush over here, pinkish to reddish blush on this side, would also be the hematite as an inclusion. Go around like this. The green you see here, or is it yellow, would be some iron oxides or hematite in stages of oxidation sitting on the outside of the crystal. Quite an intricate shape, and of course this is what one would expect from the Messina quartz, these, these unusual forms, a lot of uh, uh, recrystallization, self-healing has taken place here. Also, of course, we always look for the elusive agarite and papagawite, which would be, the agarite would be turquoise. Papagawite typically sits with the, with the hematite sections, but I don't see any blue in here. Perhaps, perhaps agarite, I look under magnification. Of course, it would only be there if you see the turquoise, of course. Look at this intricate crystallization on the other side. So we had this as a base a minute ago, going across like this. And it's a floater, so it would have formed in a, in a thick clay, as is. It didn't sit on any matrix in the forming process. All the way from the Art and Villa mine, Messina, South Africa. Size-wise, I think edge to edge here, we're looking at about just under two inches.